Third. Hey, Lane, how, how are you? Hi, Fred, how are you? Good. That's good. good. To see you. So, how's it going with your new vegan diet? It's good, thank you. Yeah. yeah. No, other than the children still give me a hard time. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> They're not supportive. <laughs> Oh, Elaine. <laughs> they think mum's going crazy today. They, they had bets on how long I'd last. Oh, well, and you... I've lost the bet. And how are you going? You're still doing good with it? Still doing well good. Well done. Yeah. So today we're going to do, um, I have to, I thought we'd do some paperwork. Okay. Just like doing some, basically, some thinking about, you know, how you can improve your diet because I yes. think you said you're feeling a bit tired at some point. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so I thought if we did like some thinking about and analysing about how we can improve that so okay. that you're feeling really full of energy. Yes. And all this paperwork I'll store is like a reference, but it'll be locked in a filing cabinet for okay. no one to see but me. Okay. Just yeah. as long as it's secure. Yeah, it's all record yeah. keeping. Crazy yeah, ex so crazy ex always... husbands, you don't want them to see anything. No, <laughs> no, and we can we can always go back over it then, can't we? Because yes. we've yep. got some sort of um, information on what we were doing. So I'm going to use the Edward de Bono Six Thinking Hats okay. because that's a lot of fun. How and does that work? How does it work? So we wear different hats. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and, and in the hats it makes us think about, you know, so what are the facts to the vegan diet? Like, what are the facts that make you want to do the vegan diet? Um, I have a history in my family of bowel cancer. Bowel cancer, that's a good reason, isn't it? It pretty much is. That's a, yeah, definitely a fact. That's it. Environmentally as well. Yeah. You know, it's less, the resources to make, you know, to grow beans is a lot less than feeding 15 kilos of beans to a cow to grow yeah. a kilo of meat. So. I understand that too. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is the red hat. And the red hat is usually based on feeling. So how have you been feeling with the diet? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah, but I, I do get hungry. You get hungry? Yeah. Yep. What about the fact you said you were feeling tired? Yeah, the tiredness has improved from the has changing. Has improved? The, yeah, from the diet. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Tiredness is improving. Yes. Oh, that's good. So you're feeling good and the tiredness is improving. Yep. Anything uh, more else? More energy. So, yep. so you're feeling more energised. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And positive. Okay. Well, they're all good reasons to stay on it. Yeah. And the benefits of the vegan diet for you. What it do is you think? cheap. <laughs> cheap? <laughs> yep. Cheap. And yeah. if you grow your own veggies and sell it, it's even cheaper. Yeah, cheap, cheap. That's it. <laughs> yeah, cheap, cheap. <laughs> cheap, cheap, what else? Um, <laughs> the bit of, oh, I guess the variety that you can, some people think, oh, what do you eat? But there's a big variety. And I love my so fruit and veggies. So you've explored hmm. your love for fruit and veggies. Yes. Yeah. And you've... And different cultures food. Yeah, and you've extended that to be creative. Yes, yeah. Yeah, not meat and two veg anymore. Yeah, that's it, hey. Yeah. So here we go, we're talking about creativity now on yeah. the green hat. Okay. Yeah, so... So probably different cultures' foods, like, so, you know, or the, the Hindu food, well, there's a lot of vegan, vegetarian recipes through that. Yeah. And other cultures, so you get yes. to explore different cultures, yes, and what they and eat and yep. flavors, cultures and flavors. I like yep. that flavor combinations of yeah, yeah. things. Yeah, they're just new combinations in your creativity. Yeah, and also the process when you're doing this. So, what sort of process? Because it's important to know the process that you're using to a lot of Google. <laughs> A lot of Google, Google a lot YouTube, of research. Yeah, Google. And yeah, what would we do with that Google and YouTube, hey? Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. and then experimenting, I would say, you'd put yes, together. Yeah. Um, how are you going finding the, the resources that you need? Um, Have you 
found that you've had to go through a process of eliminating what's got who's got what and yeah, how was, good it is and how not not so the good. Asian shop up in the, the Grand Central has good miso miso paste. Okay. <laughs> Organic white miso paste. It's the best stuff in there. Yeah. But it you is. do you find you know, you look on the internet who's got what and found through research yep. the ingredients you need. Yes. Yeah. And the last ones are what negative things do you think that has come about from the vegan diet? Sometimes it's awkward to go out and find something nice to eat. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's probably, yeah, when you're dealing with, when you're dining with meat eaters in an ordinary restaurant, it's a little more difficult. Yeah. Difficult with non vegans. Yeah. Okay. But most most chefs or cooks will be pretty flexible. Yeah, they well yeah. they've had to learn that now, haven't they? they? Had so it's it's a, the... the population's going up. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a SWOT analysis, and a SWOT analysis is based on strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. S W O T. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we're just going to go through that, and um, so that your strengths about the vegan diet and achieving the vegan diet what do you think has been your strengths to to keep going with what you've just decided to do and changing the I way think you I'm eat? just a determined bitch determined <laughs> yeah person. stubborn there we go stubborn person stubborn yeah no. that's good obviously you must be enjoying it yeah I like the food yeah you know, I enjoy the food and I enjoy the way that it makes my body feel yeah But it does take a little bit of effort to be prepared. And I like cooking, so... Yeah. So the weaknesses would be that it takes a bit of effort. Yes, just to, to be organised. and organised. Yeah. 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 To have variety, otherwise you'd and be... And fine variety. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what about opportunities? Like, how would you say that being a vegan would create more opportunities for you? In which way? I think sharing food to people that are sharing. non vegan and them tasting it and thinking how nice it is. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, tasting how nice it is. Yeah. No, that's because now the children I, I take up dishes and they don't even know that it's vegan. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll try it and they'll like it. So mm. yeah, that's I guess part of it. Yeah. What about the threats? The threats. Mm. Is when you're out and there's nowhere to around. You go into a petrol station. You're hungry at uh, late at night. You, in some places, you cannot find anything to eat that's suitable. What about your body and the diet that you're using? Do you feel you're getting all the magnesium and the yeah, uh, vitamins that you I need? I do take a vitamin B12. Okay, so. vitamin B12. Yeah. Important to take vitamin B12. So that's not really a threat. That's just something that you need to you be aware be... of. Yeah. 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 Awareness I'll put. Well, oh, that's really good. Okay. Well, thank you for that. No, and thank um, you. I'll put this away in my record keeping section under lock and key. <laughs> and then we can go back and maybe add to it or, or change things as, yes. as time progresses. Okay. Yeah. No, well, you. Yeah, that'd no, be great. No, thanks. So, yeah, so I'm really glad that you're doing well. Have you got anything else you want to add to that? Um, I don't know. Just it's amazing how many people think you're crazy because you you say you're vegan and you, yeah. they offer you food and it's not quite the right. same. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs>